Are you speaking to me? No, I'm not speaking to you at all. I'm fed up with you. <laughs> I'm Joe <laughs> from Glasgow. <laughs> Darling, how are you? I'm fine. I spoke to you very yes, well. Of course you did. There. And I'm so glad to hear from you because I thought you'd forgotten me. Oh, not at all. You know, and it was lovely and to I talk to you. I want you to run for Parliament. Oh, my goodness me. I think I'm too late for that. Do you, yes. think, do you think anybody would vote for me? Oh, I think millions would. Do you think they'd vote for Scotty McLean? I think you do. I think you'd be great. Stand there. I think there. there's a lot of a wee for you. Go on. I think you do vote for McLean. Dinky do vote for McClue, <laughs> yes. It's quite catchy. Yes, I'm going to put that out and ask people if they'd vote for me if I'd stood. <laughs> and um, about the blood transfusion thing. Yes. I think it should be like national service. And for people with need- needle phobias, they can get a doctor's line. Or if you're on medication, or I think if you're underweight, you can't give blood. If you're underweight? I think if you're under eight oh, stone. I, th- I think I might just scrape in. <laughs> if you're <laughs> 18 stone, would you be all right? <laughs> you might give them too much cholesterol. <laughs> I might. <laughs> <laughs> and then the well, would that mean I would get rid of some? What is that? Well, it would. But also, it would mean that there are a lot of people that could, that maybe haven't thought about giving blood, that would give blood. Yes, yes, and I that, think that's that, right. That'd I mean, be quite good. I, I worry, you know, when I when I hear the blood transfusion service, say, please, please give blood, and I, I think, get yeah, a minute, get all these people there, and just tell them exactly. that that's what's I happening. I mean, anyone could need it at any time. Yes, and, yes. and really, babies and everything, yes. car accidents and everything. But I think you should be able to call on the nation for instance. And, you know, they should say to Definitely. us, please, can you put this could, out that could, we need these people? It could be, it should be a national um, thing that you, if you're well and you're over the heat stone and you're not on medication, right. you really should be giving blood. Well, that's me. Yes. I'm ideal. Uh, are you? Good. <laughs> <laughs> and the other thing is... Uh, Does that sound ideal? You do. <laughs> and the other thing is the um, the marriage thing. Yes. Um, I think p- some people do it for a business, you know, arrangement. Mm-hmm. But that's not really the real way to no, do but it. We do need a business arrangement now. You see, I'll tell you the purpose of this well, discussion. Well, prenups, everything. Prenups. Oh, uh, that's rubbish. A wee prenup. You can't be... <laughs> <laughs> if you love each other, it doesn't... You know, you don't need prenups. Oh, but prenups. Oh, well, these prenups. I thought you meant, like, you know, a wee bit naughty prenups. Oh, no, you can like the squeaky, squeaky, that. squeaky floorboard and oh, all really that. Like that. You know, when you're at your mum and dad's. No, you don't want prenups with agreements. <laughs> <laughs> because that means that you essentially don't totally trust each other. And yes. it also it means there's, there's an, either an imbalance of wealth. <laughs> yes. I'm getting married in and I am in so much debt, you just couldn't believe it. So are you going to get your husband to take your debts on then? Well, no, he won't. He wants me to sort it out. Oh my I'm, I've, I'm about to have my car repossessed. Yes. Um, I've had my. <laughs> you just won't believe this. I've had my checkbook. My che- I had a, a man phone oh, me up love. to repossess my checkbook, my check card. Now, can you just not handle money, or do you just not have enough of it? Well, I just not, just not get enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, I'm a bit of a shopaholic. Oh, really? The other thing is, um, I mean, I'm, I think I said to you before, I'm a doctor, and I can't right. go into that too no, much. Don't go into and that I've got problems all. and things there, but. Right. Um, and I haven't been paid for ages, so oh, um, I'm having to take, I, I, I was so economical, I took um, four, you know, the bars, lemonade bottles back, and I got 80 pence, so that Excellent. I could buy a bottle of uh, lemon Fanta, which I really like. Oh, well, lovely. And it was That's great. That's two adverts you've done, that's enough, I'll have to send you a bill for £50,000. <laughs> and can I just do another advert? No. I had, I had my hen night on Friday night, right. and it was absolutely brilliant. It was at uh, Don't Tomasio's. say, don't say, oh, you've said it. <laughs> Tomasio's in town. You've and they were brilliant it. and it was just great fun it was wonderful it was wonderful that's great so you're getting married I'm getting married oh I'm very pleased yeah, so I had to postpone the marriage because of all the disaster at work right but anyway that's, we're still going the honeymoon so he's a fine. very lucky man and is he a doctor oh god no he's no. married a doctor if you're not married a doctor <laughs> no, he's older then you both have to get up during the night <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm away at this door. Well, I'm away at that door. <laughs> no, he's here. For goodness sake, leave the electric blank on and we'll be frozen to death by the time we get back he's, in. He's quite chilled. He does as little work as possible. That's what in you fact, want. He thinks that when we get married that uh, he's going to retire and I'm going yes. to go full time. Quite right. <laughs> <laughs> Put the missus out to work out. Oh, but that goes against your green because you say <laughs> that uh, women should only go out to work when there's full employment. Well, absolutely. I agree <laughs> with that. But she might well, be worth a few quid, you know. Well, 
Well, you, you have to have female doctors. Why? Because you don't I've always wondered about them. Are the men okay with the female doctors? Well, they probably are. No, the, the, well, well, men are fine. Are they okay if they've got a wee bit of a problem? Sometimes they do come along still. Right. But I would have thought if I was a guy and I had a male problem, I'd go to a male doctor, but you never know. Um, but I don't know that it really matters, does it? It doesn't really. You don't, yeah. I mean, you're meant, if you're qualified and you can give your opinion, then yes. it doesn't matter. You can say, I'll tell you what's wrong with that. Uh-huh. You need to go and see <laughs> so-and-so because I'm not touching it. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you do need female doctors, yes. like for family planning and yes. for but can, child but care. But the thing is, are very, the male doctors are very good with all that. Oh, they are, they? they are, but you know? there's not many male doctors in family planning, it has to be said. Oh, really? No. It's very strange. Might, that might be a new opportunity for male doctors. Yes, because I would have thought they know their stuff. Oh, they do. You know? But a, a lot of women don't really like being examined by male doctors, it has to be said, you know, intimately. That's a fairly new thing, though, is it not? No. Well, well maybe, because... I mean, it used to be that doctors are all male, so you yes. had to be. But now if you've got the choice, then most women would rather it's a female. Maybe they've got warmer hands. I think so. <laughs> 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 You'll have to excuse me, my dear. I've just been trying to start the car this morning. What? All that sort of stuff, you and know. And what, was it not working? No, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying that they'll be saying. Oh, right. That, that was me putting myself in. <laughs> I've just in. my hands in the fridge yes, for 10 I'm, minutes that's before right. you came yes, in. Yes, that's right. I've just got myself a can of lager. <laughs> because, <I'm, laughs> because of my heavy workload. <laughs> Because I don't get a chance to drink except at work. <laughs> it's <definitely> not working. <laughs> Do you know that when, when the repo man phones me, I, well, thought, it was, man, I thought it was the fiancé phoning back to see where... Because I, it was I, a I, um, the hen night, I always lose handbags and things. I've currently lost two and my file of facts. Oh my goodness. And um, I left my handbag in the taxi and it's gone. So if mm. anyone out there finds a black handbag yes, with, with 70 quid in it, not with, anymore. With a lot of debt cards. But no, no, because I've had... To, I've, they've all been repossessed or cut up and also a white makeshift veil tied round the side then it's yes. mine and it was in a TOA taxi right. at uh, about half past one in the morning yes. on Sunday early Sunday morning right. and so just in case anyone out there has found it and they can take the money but I need my makeup back yes oh yes you do indeed <laughs> I, I didn't like to say but there you are <laughs> even, a wee so bit of, even a wee bit of blusher <laughs> even a wee bit of number seven slapped on you know just a absolutely fresh, just a I fresh would die out. without makeup a wee, bit, a wee bit of filler. Uh, a polyfiller, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Right, I'll that's enough adverts, you away now. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, you take care. Well, you too, thank you. Lovely to talk to you, and we'll and speak thank again. Thank you, vote for McClue. And all the best with everything, Thank girl. you. And the other thing is, um, just the politics on, thing. Yes. You don't know, think that, you know how they're all trying to get support from various people, all the parties? Yes. And now um, getting support from these big business guys. Yes. Now, that's all very well, but these big business guys can afford to go privately for health, privately privately for schooling, privately for blah blah, and I actually think the whole thing has turned round and the Conservative Party is far more like what old Labour used to be like, and in fact the Lib Dems are quite good as well, uh, so he's right. quite good actually. Yeah, there you are I, now. I, I, I well think listen, I think we're not a political programme, we can't discuss well all that. <laughs> he's very Labour on we SNP as well. We can't discuss all that, we're not a political programme. we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to, but no. very nice to talk to you. You too, dinky do. Hey, and dinky do. Well from a clue. Right, dinky do. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> what a lady. Right, there you are. Do you think McClue should stand for Parliament? Tell us what you think about that. If you're telephoning from the rest of the UK, remember there are 59,999,999 uh, possible listeners to this programme. That's uh, that's that. Poor old Tommy. What a state. Right, back to the telephones. Um, we're talking to Alison in uh, Cheshire. Hello, Alison.